Um, can you not see us? Nope, they can't see you. Because you're buried deep in the list of local restaurants. You are invisible online. Introducing Cumulus Boost. Get a boost, get found, get on the map. Learn more at CumulusBoost.com. Cumulus Podcast Network presents Grilling JR with the voice of wrestling's Jim Ross. Join us every Thursday morning as Conrad Thompson, the godfather of wrestling, grills JR like you've never heard before, uncut and uncensored. Enjoy wherever you listen. The fan anywhere you go. Just download the app today at sportsradio1560.com. This portion of the show is brought to you by Ethos Life, the easy way to get life insurance in 10 minutes, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam and just a few health questions. Get your free quote at checkethos.com, not available in all states. I'll go back to the show. Maggie Gray, Andrew Perloff. We'll get back to football in just a moment, but we gave you a bonus great debate today inspired by the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight that's happening on Friday on Netflix. I can't even say that with a straight face. Um, the greatest fictional fight scenes of all time or fictional fights. What are they? You guys are lined up. You want to talk about this. Now, Perloff wants me to go first to yeah. Steve in San Diego. Yes. Go ahead, Steve. If you, haven't seen, if you haven't seen this one, the movie is Every Which Way But Loose. It stars Clint Eastwood and an orangutan. Yep. And, and he plays a bare-knuckle fighter. And that's like a side gig he's got. And there's a fight in there that lasts, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Just, Steve. It, it, you, you, leave, you leave feeling sore. I got to tell you, Steve, I, I did some research. It's Any Which Way You Can, the sequel to Every Which Way But Loose, that has the end fight scene that lasts 45 minutes. He's a bare-knuckle fighter, an underground bare-knuckle fighter. Clint Eastwood could fake fight. Thank you, Steve, for oh, yeah. calling in with that. Thank Dude, you, Steve. nobody threw a fake punch like Clint Eastwood. There's a, probably a bunch of them. Um, but sometimes with some of the... I, I don't know how yeah. old that movie is. Anyway. It's 1980. Sometimes, like, the audio isn't synced up. Yeah, it makes it even better. <laughs> No, no, no. That that for the this was a major movie. This this is not like a kung like fu the movie. John Wayne stuff sometimes, or even uh, like you'll have the punch and the sound will just be like a little bit off. Mm. Or yeah, the dubbing in a lot of kung fu movies is obviously terrible, but. <laughs> but 